All right. Says we're live. So hello. Howdy. Happy Sunday. Happy time change. Happy. Happy time change. <laughs> um, time change is uh, always weird. I looked at my watch and I was like, oh, it's not that late this morning. Um, and then uh, I looked at my clock, which is um, one that it, it's called an atomic clock. It um, receives radio signals from um, like a main tower somewhere out in the plains of the US and it like updates itself to make sure it's on time every like, <laughs> you know, every 30 seconds or so. Um, so it's a highly accurate um, clock and it runs on one battery for years. So I highly recommend if you ever see um, an atomic clock for sale, they are very reliable. So, but anyway, so I rolled over, I looked at it and I was like, why is there an hour difference? And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> um, I also had a second coffee yesterday at like, I finished it, I think at like 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, which meant that I was up until 4 a.m. Um, so <laughs> my like refusal to roll over and look at the, the correct clock might have been a subconscious, <laughs> like maybe, maybe, but um I've had a single cup this morning and um, I'm hoping that things will go well, that my brain will allow me to concentrate. Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, um, I've got some editing pulled up for today. I'm, I'm hoping to at least get through a couple scenes for that. Um, and I also need to go ahead and do my planner for next week. Um, and I have chosen, I have chosen a sticker pack to go with. And so I've chosen the animals um, sticker pack. So I will have to decide on whether I want dogs or kitties or birds or circus animals or pandas. Who wouldn't want pandas? Um, yes, Devin, the drowsy writer is a oh, sheep. Look at the sheep. Um, maybe I should do sheep in honor of, <laughs> in honor of <laughs> sleepy times, counting sheep. Um, oh, look at his face. He's eating just munching on the grass so cute um so i have to decide oh and i i un i fuzzed the camera again i'm sorry y'all um <clears throat> i bought this after the chinese new year and they have the most adorable um new year stickers so i will have to remember that i have these for next year um so yeah but anyway um Let's see if we can get the one, two, three. Did that work? No. Cheese. <laughs> Y'all, you would think that after how how many like times have I live streamed at this point? Um, you would think that I would be able to figure this out. There we go. Cheese. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I have very fun um animal stickers to go with i'm saving the halloween ones specifically for halloween because they are adorable let's see if i can find them um uh, look they've even got an undersea one it's just it's adorable it's a fantastic sticker pack and um they've got bears that are all eating honey it's adorable um here's the halloween spread so it's got sort of like a black background so they'll all have like a black rim around them um, so spooky creatures, but anyway, um, so I have lots of stickers to choose from for this week and maybe I'll just like choose one from, you know, multiple pages, uh, multiple themes, just like a cat here, dog here, who knows? Um, but anyway, so my weekly spread for this next week is going to be cute animal themed. Um, but yeah, and then I'm, then after, after I do the cuteness, then I'm going to try and focus on editing which is not so cute, but it's got to be done. <laughs> Cheer myself up, motivate myself with the little, the little critters. Um, but yeah, so I posted in the chat, if the time change is relevant to you, have you changed all of your clocks yet? Um, so I changed my watch. I changed the 
um, analog clock that was in the kitchen. And then like 20 minutes later, I realized I still hadn't done the oven <laughs> clock. So I, I did manage to change the oven clock. Um, so now I think they are all up to date because we got rid of the other analog clock that we had. Um, so everything else is either digital or um, my atomic clock that sort of like receives updates anyway. So um, Megan says, nope, my oven time is still the old time. Got to figure out how to change it. <laughs> yeah. Well, ooh, I have not changed my car clock. And last time that took me close to six months to do um, because I was forever forgetting until I was driving and I'd look over and my, my car doesn't let me change the clock until it's at full stop. Um, and so I would always like try and do it at a red light. Um, but then like, I wouldn't have enough time to figure it. So yeah. Um, so I have not changed all of mine. Actually, I still have a car left to do. Um, Devin says, howdy, howdy, Devin. B.A. Pascar is here. Hey, hey, y'all. How are you? And how how is your writing slash school slash photography? How are all of your fantastic projects? And Becca says, hello. Hello, hello. Cool Gamer says, hello. Welcome. This is where Devin was calling me the drowsy writer. Yes. Uh, Rosalind says, hello. Excellent. Oh, fun for the stickers. Yes. Megan is working on character development today. Ooh, you're trying to figure out how to show change in your main character. Ah, okay. Um, one of the ways that you can do it if you're intentional about it is you can um, work with the main character's thoughts if you are revealing those. Um, another way that you can do it sort of more subtly is that you can talk about the character's body language um, as well as in the dialogue tags instead of like whispered or uh, have them being slowly more confident and assertive in the way that they do the dialogue tags. Um, you know, revealing through actions and through their through their um, interactions with other characters. So at the beginning, if the character is more timid um, and is less confident, the interactions with the characters that they view as authority figures would be very different once they gain confidence in how they speak to and <clears throat> their willingness to speak. Um, perhaps the length of answers would might go from yes or no to like <clears throat> actual statements or declarations of intent rather than questions of like, may I do this type of thing? Um, so those are just off the top of my head suggestions. Don't know if any of those apply, <laughs> um, but there, she, there you go. Um, CB says, hello. Hannah says, hi, hello. And Maggie says, um, you are with HDP, Heather and Melissa. So you spent your sprint making a grocery list and cooking sugar water for your bees. Oh, well, um, speaking of bees, that's the card for today. So appropriate, I guess. <laughs> um, CB says clock change doesn't apply here for another two weeks. Gotcha. Um, Elizabeth says, is this an hour earlier? For you, yes. <laughs> um, so the um, North America did the time change today. Um, and so we sp sprang forward <laughs> an hour. So yes, it, it technically would be, I, I think for you, NCB, another two weeks or so. So yes. <laughs> yes. Um, Becca says, I never changed my Clark clock before. So now it's ready. Exactly. Uh, there was, I think the time before that I did let it go for the full, the full season. Um, Maggie says, I wish we were on daylight savings all year round. I wish they would just like pick one. It doesn't matter to me which one it is. Just pick one and stick with it. That's, that's all I want. <laughs> I'm like, just stick with it. doesn't matter to me if we like decide on one or the other, if you just like go halfway in between and just like, just pick one, just pick one. Um, yes. Yeah. I think you're another two weeks and hello. 
Um, Maggie says, Stream Hoppers United. Hop, hop. Yes. And Jenna is here. Hey, everyone. Hello. And CB says, we don't change our clocks until the 27th in the UK. Not sure about Europe, though. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, it did. It did indeed. And how are you doing, Devin? Are you are you okay with this? <laughs> um, Elizabeth says, good thing I checked in earlier. Yes. Yes, indeed. And hopefully the, the YouTube notifications are actually like functioning and we'll let people know. But I mean, today is our hour long stream anyway. So, you know, people will pop in. Um, Devin says Australia and New Zealand change theirs in April. Um, well, <laughs> It would make more sense like as a date to do it on like the equinox. I mean, if you're going to like arbitrarily change time, like might as well be on one of the celestial events, right? Um, what's in April? Is there anything in April? Um, Easter. Easter is in April. Most spring breaks or some spring breaks are in April. Um, CB says, cool. Good to know. Persephone says, hey, peeps. Hello. And CB says, on the way back, it's the opposite. Ours are first, the last week in October. In the U.S., it's the week after. Probably the the end of the year when it keeps getting pushed further and further back. Um, so who knows when they'll, who knows? Um, Megan says, I'm mainly looking at events that can happen to show the character development. You're trying to figure out your ending in a roundabout way. Gotcha. 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 Um, Devin says, don't know why everyone can't change them on the same weekend. It would make things easier. Yeah, it would. Instead of sort of like dragging it out over two months. CB says, I know. Yeah. Except for Arizona and Hawaii because they don't do it. And, um, what is it? Um. Uh, Newfoundland is like half an hour anyway. It's at the half hour mark. And it's just like, man, no. Um, <laughs> so um, Morgan says, hello. Um, Saskatchewan. I, I don't think I pronounced that right. Uh, doesn't though. Or doesn't too. Um, BA says, school is great. You're working on getting a new camera. Ooh, you're also trying to get back into writing, changing the project you're working on, and the pe Peppermint Stranger isn't going so well. Um, maybe it's because it's not Christmas season, and you need the Christmas vibes to help. It's okay if it needs to rest for a while. CB says, didn't know that. Um, Devin says, I will never be okay with the time changes. <laughs> yeah. Um, BA says, hope to have some info up on my website about the new project. Thanks for asking. Hope all is going well with you and your projects. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, CB says, I got the notification on time. Yay. <laughs> um, CB says, the problem with doing it on the equinox, though, is the day of the week it falls on changes every year. That is true. That is true. Oh, well, spring break is here this week. Yeah, and that's, um, so it's kind of weird. Like here, um, the public primary through high school, those public schools, and usually the private schools that are on the same timeline, their spring break is usually either first or second week of April. Then when you go to college levels, their spring breaks is usually second week of March, <laughs> um, like second or third week of March. Um, so, I, I mean, who knows? Spring break is weird. Um, Maggie says they've been slowly reducing the length of time we spend on standard over the last two decades. Yes, they have. They have indeed. And Heather says, hello. Hello, Heather. Spring break is for your son. For your son is this week. Oh, okay. It varies from county to county. Wow. Um, does it vary county? I thought it was more of like a statewide thing. 
I guess it does. I guess the counties do have a uh, prerogative to do their, it might be district level here, which could include more than one county or could include only part of a county. Who knows? Um, CB says our kids have February half term instead of spring break. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Devin says my health issues forced me to be on schedules for certain things. The time changes messes with your schedule. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, CB says it's normally a couple days mid-February. Yeah. Well, I mean, we do have a couple, like, <laughs> winter break is different from, like, semester break here. Um, I swear they have slowly been, ever since people voted and said, no, we don't want year-round school, people in the background have been slowly changing the dates of holidays to where the length of school has expanded. You just have more breaks in between. Um, and so it's just they're sneakily moving us to year-round schooling without telling us we're going to year-round schooling, I swear. That's my opinion, allegedly. <laughs> I was like, not factual, um, but maybe. Uh, Misha is here. Hello, you just finished another monster marathon, so you're bushed, but you need to finish up some things before you sleep. Excellent. Hopefully we can help you do that um, before, because um, you're still on the, the rolling outages, I think, if I'm remembering. My, if my brain is working. Um, Maggie says in Texas and Colorado, the state sends out suggestions and the districts decide. Yeah, that's probably how it goes most places. <laughs> probably. Um, you know, just, just about like how the, um, you know, your parents give you suggestions and you're immediately like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and then later you're like, okay, maybe it was good. Idea. <laughs> um, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, CB says some homeschooler do school year round and others follow term time. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about how um, homeschool. Yeah. Yeah, because when there's no real change in environment, then there doesn't necessarily feel like they're would be that huge separation of like school time versus fun time. Um, so yeah, I can see how it would be very easy to do year round schooling with homeschool. Um, your brain is working. Yay. But unfortunately you just got news. That the ruling outages ended for now. Okay. Oh, fortunately I was like, wait, what? Yes. Fortunately I put it un <laughs> in front of it, but yay. That's awesome. Um, Heather says, I'm looking forward to our family trip to St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, love St. Augustine to celebrate my and hubby's 20th anniversary. Um, if you are looking for a adult um, fun time, the San Sebastian Winery in St. Augustine has a tour and tasting and their wines are delicious. Um, I also recommend going for a walk <laughs> under the full light, uh, under the full moonlight on the beach there. It's fantastic. Yes, I am. I am that kind of girl. <laughs> Um, Maggie says school used to run from Labor Day to Memorial Day, but now school starts second Monday of August, um, or before Christmas break is also shorter. Um, Heather says so your trip is in two weeks, so you won't be streaming that last weekend in March. Gotcha. School here runs from Labor Day to Canada Day. It's a nice way to get an extra celebration for Canada Day in. Um, Laura is here. Hello. Welcome. Um, CB says, I think homeschoolers who go to a co-op do term time and homeschoolers who don't usually do year round. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Um, Maggie says, in some areas of California, they have all year round school and have and have to run morning and afternoon sessions because they don't have enough schools. So having kids in different grades is a nightmare. I bet that sounds terrible. <laughs> um, okay. So we do have a card for today and it is in fact the bee spirit. Um, since we talked about um, Maggie's bees briefly. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So Becca got very different uh, 
got two, two different cards. <laughs> um, Becca got the panther, reclaim your power, and antelope, time to respond, take action, no procrastinations. Well, okay, so mine, mine kind of goes along with that. So the bee spirit, the bee is going to appear on the screen in three, two, one, bee is on the screen. The bee spirit is um, a message that sweet rewards are on their way if you are willing to let to get your ego out of the way and immerse yourself in the connected energy of all things. The bee knows not to let a sense of being a separate self get in the way of a good thing. The spirit is always producing honey, miracles, and magic are everywhere. When you connect to the great hive or the greater being, you are vibrating and buzzing in exquisite harmony with all. The bee asks that your focus be on connectivity. Your body, heart, soul, and psyche experience total total interconnectedness and true integration when you self-forget, when you remember that you are part of a greater unified consciousness. Creativity rushes through you seemingly without effort as you experience that nothing feels like work. Industriousness is driven by enthusiasm and inner motivation, and time seems to fly by. So, B is still on the screen. <laughs> um, sweet results await is the main message. So as long as we are hard at work, we're little worker bees. Okay. B is off the screen. Um, as long as we are hard at work and we get, um, and we, we get that, that motivation and that buzzing, um, <laughs> and, and also remember that, you know, um, perhaps we are not the queen bee all the time. Perhaps we must be a worker bee at some point. Maggie says, bees. <laughs> Becca says, I love bees. <laughs> um, CB says, that is one cute bee. It is very cute. Yes. Hannah says, oh, bees are adorable. Yes. Um, Becca says, I love that community is everything. Yes. Especially here on AuthorTube, which is fantastic. Um, Devin says, I'm allergic to stings. I am... I have to get tested. I don't think I am. I think the one time that I have gotten like stung and swelled up, it was because I happened to get stung by so many at once. Um, so yeah, so I, I'm not highly allergic or anything. I just, you know, don't go diving into it. <laughs> um, well, it was, it was more of like, I was the slowest runner after the nest was disturbed or the hive was disturbed. Um, so I was the one who got stung. <laughs> so don't be the slow runner. Um, Maggie says, it's such a pretty bee. I want that deck just for the for the bee card, the hummingbird, and the turtle card. There are so many fantastic cards in here. Um, and I highly recommend it. But um, I have, I think I've shared with y'all before, um, that it is Colette Byrne Reads um, Spirit Animal Deck. And you can go to her website and... Um, try out the deck and see if there are more cards that you like. CB says wasps and hornets are not, they are mean and scary, but bees are nice. Um, Devin says be gone. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, Elizabeth says that's a little uplifting actually. Yay. You just need to get through this and you can relax as a reward. Yes. Um, Devin says the only stings that I'm not allergic to are the singer and the wrestler. Very nice. CB's been stung twice. Uh, Laura says, I got stung by a wasp next to my eye. Ooh, and the side of your nose on Pioneer Day, you were wearing a bonnet. Mm. Was it like a floral patterned bonnet or just like head frills? Um, Maggie says, oh, Devin. <laughs> oh, Devin. Um, CB has seen Sting, the singer in concert, and he was amazing. I bet. Um there's a lot of his songs I really like. All right, team. So I need a 15 minute warm up to get my brain um, and my planning sort of started anyway. Um, I know that I'm usually not done with my planner in the first 15, but I can at least get a good start. So we're going to go for a 15 minute warm up and then we'll dive into the 25s. And hopefully we'll be able to accomplish a lot um, and get those, those sweet rewards, earn those sweet rewards. There we go. Um, so CB has seen Sting the Singer in 
person and Devin has seen Sting the wrestler in person. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Okay, so one save your document if you have already been working this morning or now's a good time to pull it up if you have not yet been working. Two, make sure that you have something to hydrate with. I have about a half glass of water, so I'm going to take a sip. Three, straighten your spine. Roll those shoulders back for a posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break for refilling your water glass or coffee or taking a stretch break, whatever it is that you need, make sure you take care of that. All right, so 15 minute warm up sprint in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right. That was sprint number one. Yes, I did unmute myself. Okay. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> um, I think I managed to get a good amount of stickers. I mean, I, I did have a little bit more space that I could do, but, um, you know, um, I started off with the cat and the dog, <laughs> and then I progressed to having a hippo, of course, um, and pandas and penguins and dragons and <laughs> um, birds all, I think all the birds are at the top, and then a turtle, of course, over here. Um, hedgehog, fennec fox, I put, um, they had little frog heads that look kind of like the, the little frog emoji that we use for stream hoppers. Um, so I use that for my live days. Um, and then I've got a cousin, Allie, whose birthday is on, is later this week. Um, and so they had an alligator birthday decoration. Um, and so I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I got quite a few, um, quite a few cute stickers in there. And of course, being, being born in Florida, like I have to have a flamingo, like that's just like required um it's not really but you know <laughs> um so i think i have used quite a few cute stickers so i'm happy with those um i mean who knows i might add a few more as the week goes on but for right now um, i did want to leave a little bit of space to write in <laughs> just a little bit um yes so so that's what i did all right where were we um okay cb was talking about um had to wait to see sting um julie hello you're here and so excited to join everyone in the sprints and get more editing done yes that is what i will be doing after i do the last bit of like actually writing down things in my planner for next week um so yeah editing gotta be ha it's gotta happen i think this was maggie saying ouch to laura in regards to the beasting um story and christina says hello hello and heather says i am making pies this afternoon Ooh! so you gathered the ingredients got water don't forget to drink and you made lunch excellent um person he's like did somebody say pie yes i saw um a lemon meringue pie at the store when I went this weekend. I was like, oh, that'd be nice. But I just got, like, we just got finished finally uh, polishing off the um, red velvet cake that I had for my birthday. So I kind of feel like I maybe should wait <laughs> for another, <laughs> I'll, I'll at least wait until pie day, but that's tomorrow. So, you know, I gotta have, you gotta have pie on pie day. It's a must. Um, Misha says hello to Christina and Maggie says Maggie ignores that she is driving and uh, dying and drives to Florida for pie. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, Persephone also charts course for pie getting place. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> CV says you got 364 words. Nice. All the animals. Yes, I, I quite literally went through and just like took just about one off. I took one off of most pages. Um, but there were a couple of pages that I didn't do the circus animal page. Um, I did not do the farm animals page. Um, I will save that for like a, well, they had a different sheep page. So technically, um, I took one off the birthday page. I did not take one off the Lunar New Year. I did not take one off the butterflies. Because the butterflies were all, like, gilded. They're not quite the same, like, cute style that the other animals that I was picking were. So, took a pink one. I did not take any from this one because these are more cartoony. I don't know. I mean, the panda bears would be cartoony. But, yes, I'm, I'm very pleased with this sticker pack. <laughs> You know how sometimes you get a sticker pack and you like, you buy it for one page out of the however many pages it is. Um, and then afterwards you're like, well, I'm never going to use the rest of these stickers. <laughs> um, but no, I will use these. So 
yes, a hippo. Had to put him on there. Um, he's got, I think, a lily pad on top of his head. Um, his or her, or it's, who knows. Um, cute stickers, yes. Misha says, did a drawing warm up? Drank your 13th glass of fluid. Nice. Finished your moving around, so only seven things left to do. Excellent. That's awesome. Um, Megan says, did some brainstorming for my story, trying to make the story more emotional through the character development. The stickers are adorable. They are. I, I have an addiction to stickers because let's be honest, if I tried to draw all of those, I would eventually be able to do it, but it would be so time consuming. Um, so it's stickers, stickers are great. Love stickers. Laura says it's snowing outside now. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Um, I'm just glad it has finally warmed up to 48 degrees. Um, it was very, very cold yesterday um, for me. Again, born in Florida, raised mostly in Georgia. I do not handle cold well. <laughs> um, Hannah says, didn't get any words, but spent some time researching piranha, which is not how you imagined you would be sending spending your Sunday. I mean, heck, piranhas are really, really good for horror slash thriller. And, you know, <laughs> like anytime you, you want something to be hidden well, just like throw it in a pool of piranhas and it makes somebody think twice about trying to go get it. Um, Misha says, oh, and I did some last minute work. Excellent. Good. All the works. Um, Jenna says you got 391 words in. Nice. Heather is laughing at Persephone and Maggie for planning to hop in the car and go come get pie. Um, Elizabeth says, got started on chipping on this enormous mountain of feedback for parent-teacher conferences. Hard to see when it will end. Yes. Cakes and pie. <laughs> yeah. um, Becca is working on brainstorming some YouTube video topics and having fun. Yay. Good. It's best to have fun with it because then you know, you'll be motivated to actually do the videos. Unlike the, <laughs> unlike some of us who forget and just don't make videos. <laughs> um, Misha says, I guess I should start swimming to get my slice of pie. I mean, you could. BA says, I created a shield and updated some info on the new project. Nice. Um, Heather says, that is a large ocean to swim across. <laughs> you better get started now. Yes. Megan says it's 62 degrees and mostly sunny. Feels a bit warmer than that in the sun. Yes. That would be nice. Misha says, well, yes, it's going to be quite a swim. The pie will be worth it, though. And you'll have burned enough calories to eat the pie. <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> all the things. Um, all right. So let's do the second sprint, which is always is my self-promo sprint. So if you have a YouTube page, a Twitch page, a Amazon author page, an Etsy store, a website, a blog, social medias, etc, etc, that you would like to promote, now's the time to do so. And bonus points and gold stars to you if it is writing adjacent. In fact, I will go ahead and put um, stars in the chat. Here's a star. Maybe, if it goes through. Um, besides that, if you do not have the blue wrench of power, you will not be able to post direct links. So remember that you'll have to do the workaround and type out the dot in dot com. Other than that, one, make sure you save. Two, make sure you take a sip. Cheers. Three, make sure you straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break, take a break. Those are your reminders, and here we go. 25-minute Pomodoro Sprint in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go!
All right. Um, that was sprint number two. How'd we do? Um, I finished my planner. I finished writing down um, like a little mini page of notes. Um, I'm not showing them because spoilers. Um, but I finished that. Um, made a little diagram, a little, little map very sketchy map <laughs> um it doesn't really look like a whole lot of, but um it's a map of sorts um so i got that done then i started doing light edits um and i'm just trying to pay attention to like just the thing that's on my my list um and i will worry about the other things later <laughs> um i'll you know make a note of like add this to the next round of edits but um, for right now, I'm doing pretty good. Um, <laughs> I know Laura says the thunder confused me because I was working on making another spring flower timer. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I look forward to the new timer then. All right, so that was the sprint um, for self-promo. So don't forget, if you want to promote yourself and the waddles, Either Tug Waddle, that guy with all the links, Devin, or Maggie, that mama with all the links, Tom Waddle. If they have not gotten your links already, now's the time to um, do something about that. All right, where were we? Oh, yes, and here's your gold star to <laughs> all of the all of the things. Um, okay, so Devin, I think, was the first. Um Oh, but also Persephone wants to know if if you are participating in Camp Nano April. If you are, chime in. Um, Devin says, my stuff. And here's the link tree um, for Dev75. And then here is the playlist that Devin makes for us, which is also oh helpful. And Laura says, here's my little story that I wrote last night called The Perfume Lingers. It's not a horror. Oh. Well, we just need to check that out then. It's very rare for you not to write horror. Um, Misha says, I have a writing channel, mainly to do productivity marathons, but eventually I'll do writing and storytelling content. And here's the link for that. Um, Laura says, my first blog, your first vlog in a planned series of writing a short story from scratch. Come see my writing process and how my weird brain works. And there's the link. Um, CB self promo. I have 39 stories on our, the archive of our own page with the username pepperonifan1982. Comments are off because people have been mean. Oh no. Um, some of your work is on fanfiction.net and you are premiering a video on 318, which is Friday. Yes. Uh, at 9 p.m. UK time. And CB says, I'm going to go make my dinner now. Excellent. Megan says, you can find my channel here. Please subscribe. Very simple and to the point. <laughs> um, B.A. Pascar says, new project information page. Here it is, B.A. Pascar.com. Grotten. Is that the, the acronym for it or is that the name of the story? Ooh, I'm curious. We'll have to go check it out. Um, Maggie says, does anyone need me to share their channel link? Um, Megan says, my Twitter is here. At I'm Megan McCarthy. Devin says, I'm still trying to reach 400 subscribers before the write -thon begins on Saturday. It's going to be close. You are still less than five away. If you have not subscribed to Devin for the playlists, you need to. Um, Heather says, I'm going to focus this week, this coming week on your Etsy shop, greeting cards and art for writers and lovers of fantasy and science fiction. And there is Heather's shop link. Um, you are also in the middle of setting up a sale, 20% 20 20 off all items for one week, starting on the Vernal Equinox, which is next Sunday. Yes. Laura says, my flash fiction horror piece that was published is available to read online. It's called Fairy Godmother. A little girl is haunted by a fairy godmother. Uh, and she, when she finally makes a wish, she learns the steep price is bone. Ooh. And there's the link. Um, oh, not that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did we get rid of it? Yes, Devin got rid of it. Yay. Um, 
Maggie says, my interview with Margaret Pinner just last Friday. And there's the link for that. You knew it was coming. Saw another bot. Um, saw a bot at another stream right before this one. Figured they'd hear, head here soon. Yes. Thank you, Devin. Um, don't know why I accidentally clicked on it, but it did. Maggie says, my latest flash fiction, hashtag writer reading, The Time Traveler's Son. And there is the link to that. Bot Smashers United. Yes. Um, and also The Ghost with Cats at the hashtag writer reading playlist. And here's the link for that. Um, here is CB's channel. Here is Persephone's channel. And apparently Maggie had to resub to Persephone because evidently YouTube doesn't want you to be friends. So yes, occasionally check your subs and make sure that you are still subbed to the people you think you are. <laughs> Just occasionally check up on everybody. Um, Maggie says, I am doing Camp Nano. Um, here is Jenna's link right there. Um, Devin says, I have not done Nano since the pandemic started. Yeah. Yeah, the pandemic changed a lot of things. <laughs> um, Maggie says, here is Morgan's, Morgan's channel. Um, CB will be doing Camp Nano, but you are having dinner right now. Um, Maggie says, anybody else? Tammy says, I'm also doing camp. Also, welcome, Tammy, and love your hair. Um, and what genre do you write, says Tammy. Um, Maggie writes fun things. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie writes really fun things. Um, <laughs> Persephone says to Maggie, thank you. I took down all the videos some time ago, but you were thinking about putting at least the nano stuff back up. Gotcha. Um, Maggie says, I write many things. <laughs> Find me on the nano site and I will add you to my Scribblers Corner group. Um, okay. I think we're finally back down to, um, down to where we started. Maybe. No, no. It lied. <laughs> we still have quite a bit to go. Tammy says, okay. Um, Misha spent the sprint meditating. Excellent. Nice choice. Down to six things. Now you're going to go follow some peeps. Yes. Follow all the writers if you feel like it and you want some more writing friends on the internet. Jenna got amazing at 574 words. Nice. Um, Megan says, the most tragic thing happened. You ran out of glorious bread. Oh, no. The deliciousness is gone now. You feel lost knowing there's no more bread waiting for you in the fridge. Oh, no. <laughs> so sad. Um, Elizabeth says, oh, dang it. Promo. You do a live stream every Thursday at 6 p.m. GMT plus one, which should be, well, it was noon Eastern, but now with the time change, it might be 11 for two weeks. I will have to check. <laughs> I will have to check that. Um, and you can find Elizabeth on, is on Instagram as a little about books. Um, Elizabeth says also got two bit, two feedbacks written. Excellent. Laura says, oh no, the agony of mundane bread is all you shall now know. <laughs> Devin was first. You do get a gold medal. Um, BA says, I got some of the new project info updated on my website and created a world anvil page for it. Excellent. Um, Tammy is also going to be participating in camp. Megan says, it's a tragedy. That there's no more nice bread left. Um, Persephone wants to know what Maggie's, um, camp username is and is offering to be camp buddies. And the username on Nano is Persephone ATE. So you can add it to the buddy list. Um, Persephone says awesome to Tammy. Tammy says self promo. You have a channel here under the, um, same username at Tammy Esposito. And new content coming soon. Excellent. 318 is a Friday. Yay! I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> but it did. Um, Julie said, had to make food. That's print. You're back, though. Excellent. Um, Megan says, I might attempt Nano to finish this novel, but you are definitely not prepared. Gotcha. Julie says, no camp for me. Too busy with edits and book two, then querying a contemporary romance. But hopefully soon you'll be able to draft again. I hope so. Um, Tammy says, I write historical fiction. Excellent. Love that. To the very chatty day. Yes. Very, very chatty. 
Um, Misha is not doing camp. You stopped in 2020 as well and haven't gotten back into fully creative mode. Yeah. See, we had dinner. BA says, I will probably start camp, but I don't know if I'll finish it. That's this, this is, this is definitely the, the sentiment. <laughs> yes. Um, Maggie says to Persephone, we are not nano buddies and I can't find you. Oh no. So sad. Hopefully um, check the capitalization, I guess. And um, try again, maybe. All right. Um, you know. I, we're, we're, ch we're very chatty today, but we're, we're going to do another timer. Um, and this one's, we're still using another one of Laura's. Um, this one's going to be her, whoops. Um, tea and leaves, tea book leaves, book leaves tea. Sorry, got the order wrong. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so one, save your document. Two, make sure you have a sip of whatever you're supposed to be hydrating with. Cheers. Ooh, Heather's got one pumpkin pie in the oven. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break for a stretch or a snack or just a walk around, whatever it is you need, make sure you're taking care of yourself as you're writing. And here we go, 25 minute Pomodoro Sprint in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right, that is the end of that sprint. Um, Laura has posted the new 25 minute timer, so that's what we'll be using next. Um, it's a lovely spring bouquet timer. Um, so that's the one we'll be using next, still 25 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I did a bit more of the editing. Um, I'm moving through like shorter scenes. Um, so I'm, I'm going at a pretty good clip. Um, I just lost where I was. Oh no, because I scrolled up <laughs> to see what scene I was on. Um, okay, probably about there. Ish. Ish. Um, <laughs> Julie, the thunder made you want a rainy nap. It's not even raining. Well, it is um, winter, so like, you know, cold day nap, like that can kind of count, right? Um, I say as I have the fan on <laughs> um, because our heater is works very, very well. And the heater is right at my feet. Um, so <laughs> the vent, I mean, um, so yeah. Um, so I am a mix of like hot and cold. So my feet are bare. <laughs> my fan is on, but I'm wearing a sweater. Go figure. Um, my outfit is confused. <laughs> my life is confused. Um, where were we? Um, so, uh, I think Heather was asking what do you do with extra pie filling? And so I said, if you have extra crust, you can put it inside um, the like cupcake tins and then have like little mini um, pies, or you could freeze the extra pie filling. Um, as long as it doesn't have egg, I think, because I think technically like bacteria can still grow, grow from raw egg, even if it's frozen, I think my brain is telling me that. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, but yeah, you can freeze. Um, you can freeze the the innards um, for sure. I know that you can freeze the innards. I don't know. I th I think my mom has frozen like pie filling already fixed before. I think. <laughs> Um, Devin says we should do a 75 minute sprint next to compensate for all the chatting. No, <laughs> love you to have 75, but no. Um, <laughs> so not right now anyway. Um, Heather says those are good ideas. Um, Maggie says, I still haven't decided on your project. I think this is for Nano, Camp Nano, contemporary rare werewolf and humans versus dark fate terrorist or Vigilante Gargoyle Shifter Queen. And I have to tell you, the last one sounded great to me. I mean, they all sound great, but um, I vote for option number three. Um, Persephone said, 75 minutes. Dang, that's hardcore, Devin. Um, this is my vote for Maggie. Um, Persephone sound, says, all of those sound delicious. <laughs> um, Maggie's going to be sending out um, invites to... Um, the nano site uh, to be buddies. And here's the link for Laura's new 25 minute floral bouquet timer. If you, in case you want to go over and give it a like and um, comment, etc. etc. And Jordan is here. Hey guys, just saw the Laura's new timer as well. It came up in your notifications, or as you like to call it, um, the Chronicles. It's a nice way to, to view the notifications because it is sort of like this record of things that are going on um laura says i'm making a batch of spring timers for the worldwide write-a-thon should be a couple more coming you have a 15 minute one exporting at the moment um it might be done by now who knows um but you want there to be lots of options um and nat is here hello Maggie's also so excited for the new timers. Um, and I said a smorgas, smorgasbord of options. Board. I wanted to put a G on the end as well. Um, but then I was like, does anybody know what that actually is? 
<laughs> um, and I looked it up and it is essentially like a buffet style meal where you put everything out and then you choose what you want. Um, and that said, it's a spread of food. Yeah. Devin said, isn't it the Swedish word for buffet? Um, yes, it's a Swedish or Scandinavian thing, usually sandwiches and appetizer type things, but that made Nat now have the munchies. <laughs> um, Elizabeth said, I think it's the same thing as a cold board. Um, probably mispronounced that as well. In Norwegian, literally translated to cold table, a large buffet of different meats, bread, fish, and basically anything you can put on top of bread. There you go. And Devin says, now I have the voice of the Swedish chef in my head. <laughs> Nat says, now I want sandwiches. <laughs> Devin suggests that I do the rest of the stream in the Swedish chef voice. Uh, no, thank you. Um, the dawdling Muppet, maybe. Um, and this is where uh, I think we came in. Yes. Um, oh, no. I just lost where I was in the chat. It jumped. Um, and that says it's a horror day today. You're taking a rest from sci-fi. Okay, excellent. Um, CB says I'm back, back after dinner and two episodes of your favorite TV show on BBC iPlayer. And BA says I started dinner, chicken parmesan and roasted loaded potatoes. Ooh, that's how, like all of the food sounds good today. <laughs> we've got pumpkin pie, we've got chicken parmesan, and we've got smorgasbord. Um, I always, I don't, I want to put a G on the end and I don't know if that's because like the way that I've heard it, um, in my life has always been from Southerners who say it with a G on the end. Um, but I always, like, I, I just realized I have always put a G on the end of it. So it becomes Borg instead of bored. So bad. <laughs> Um, Elizabeth says, well, got one written of your parent teacher conference feedbacks and the rest of the time you distracted by yourself by sending out a wish list for wedding gifts. At least it was something productive. Yes, indeed. Um, Nat says, yum. Uh, and you heated up some Alfredo that you made last night. Excellent. Um, Misha says, I just finished my drawing exercise and prepping for bed. So it's time for you to turn in. Have a good night. And... Uh, Misha wishes everybody a good day. Um, CB had chicken curry with rice. Excellent. Elizabeth is <laughs> jealous of BA's dinner. Yum. Um, CB says, when I was down at the other apartment this morning, I had to turn the he uh, heating down because it was too hot. Yeah. Uh, Devin says, you're eating Alfredo. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, CB says, I'm pretty sure it's true about the egg. Oh, yeah, but the, the egg continuing to grow things in the freezer. Um, Nat says, yeah, the fettuccine is screaming. <laughs> you you did. I remember you saying that you forgot to put sugar in the cream cheese um, in the cheesecake mix thing. Whatever. The filling. There we go. That's the word I wanted. Um, Heather says, I ended up putting some almond meal in a few muffin t cups and filling those most of the way with pumpkin pie filling. Nice. I, I know. I can't. I know. The Borg. Borg board. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, the Borg. I know. I can't. I, it's just, I, I don't know why I do it. Um. Maybe it's because of the internal rhyme, because you have the smorg, smorg, and then you have board. But I think, like, I attempt to make it a the same um, rhyme scheme type end thing. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All the smiley faces and the laughing, yes. Um, has anyone ever thrown a, anyone ever throw a recipe into a fictional novel? Um there is a fantastic book that is co-written by um, Jennifer Cruzy and Bob. Oh, it's right there. Hang on. Okay, if you want a hilarious romance comedy, um, this book, Agnes and the Hitman, is fantastic. But it's by Jennifer Cruzy and John Mayer. Um, at the beginning of um, several of the chapters, um, 
the character essentially has like a, a, a newspaper column. Um, and so there will be like little tidbits and sometimes it'll be a recipe. Um, there's also been, um, yeah, so like some people are critical of Coke, pointing out that when you drop a nail into Coke, leave it there for four days, the nail dissolves completely. Imagine, they say, what would the same Coke do to your stomach? Those who are fans of Coke ham point out that when you pour Coke over a ham and bake it at a 300 degree oven for two and a half hours, the ham tastes delicious. But anybody who has put a nail in a can of Coke and waited four days knows that it doesn't dissolve at all. Why do people believe everything they hear? On the other hand, Coke ham is really good. Better than that, it's criminally easy. So there's like little tidbits of cooking um, <laughs> and some of them are full on um, recipes. Um, so yes recipes and fictional novels. Good things. Um, also, it's a hilarious book. It's hilarious. Um, I, I tend to like Jennifer Cruz's humor a great deal. Um, so anyway, <laughs> um, Nat says, I've done that before. It gave readers a free stew recipe. Yes. CB does that all the time as well. Yeah, you are not alone in that. And, you know, tr traditionally published authors do it as well. So um, Heather says we'll be having pork chops mixed with veggies and homemade biscuits. Mmm, yum. I love biscuits. <laughs> um, Persephone says, lol, poor Alfredo. What did he ever do to deserve that, Nat? <laughs> CB says, I have a brownie box mix for the beginning of Camp Nano because it's a certain actor's birthday on the 4th of April. And you're planning to watch Chaplin, Iron Man 1 through 3, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. You will not be watching do a little because the movie was awful. <laughs> nice. Um, a brownie box that would be so demolished in one day. Yes. Guess it would. First row of the devil cake, then pumpkin pie, now brownies. Yes. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Also, I can I bought um, a container of like the tang powder, um, which I've not had in years. Um, and that's one of the recipe ingredients for orange dreamsicle cookies or cake. Um, but if you've not had, if you've not made dreamsicle, like orange dreamsicle cookies with white chocolate chips, um, it, mm, yes, <laughs> I may have to go buy another canister of it just to make the cookies <laughs> um, because they're delicious. And I have not thought about Tang in the longest time. And then just like it popped in my head this last week. So I was like, okay, guess I'm going to get that on the grocery, spit, grocery run. Um, the Tang was delicious, but uh, yes, Dreamsicles cookies. Exactly. Um, yes. And they're fantastic. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I think I'm definitely going to have to make those sometime soon. Now that I've had Tang again, I'm like, Ooh, I want those. <laughs> Um, so yes, all, all the things, all the food, we want all of it. Um, you just looked up Doolittle 2020. Uh, I haven't, I don't know what that is. I guess I'll have to look up. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog one was better. Oh, that does tell you a lot. That does tell you a lot. Alt right team. But let's do another sprint. Another sprinty sprint with Laura's new timer. One of them. One of them, anyway. All right. Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. We love this, Laura. It's beautiful. Okay. So, don't forget to save your document. Saved. Don't forget to take a sip of whatever you're hydrating with. Cheers. And make sure, yes, <laughs> Laura says, ta-da, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> um, yes, so number three is straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. If you need a longer or bigger stretch with your arms or with your wrists and fingers, go ahead and do some of that if you feel the need to. And make sure, yeah, <laughs> tang is fantastic. Um, <laughs> yes. 
And lastly, if you need a break for walk around to um, fix your munchies for the snack from the kitchen, since we've been talking about food, whatever it is you need, make sure that you're taking care of yourself as we write. Here we go. 25 minute Pomodoro in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All righty. That was point number four. How we doing? Um, I'm still moving through these shorter scenes at a pretty nice clip. Um, yeah, very nice clip, in fact. So, um, I mean, I'm, again, like trying to skim through and only focus on like one or two things as I go through. That way I don't get overwhelmed with like all the things that need to be done. Um, so that just means I'll have to make more more passes through it but um you know hopefully <laughs> um oh no the thunder was muted on the bluebell timer need to redo it oh no oh no um hopefully it won't take that long but um Alrighty, let's see. There was quite a bit of chat in uh, in the chat <laughs> um, about the different movies. Um, CB said, I lasted 15 minutes of Doolittle and then you had to turn it off because it was that bad. Sonic was way better <laughs> than Doolittle, which tells you a lot. Um, so you are going to go see um, Sonic the Hedgehog number two on the first. Um, Nat says that's why they need to stop with the remakes and just make new movies. Um, seeing the same thing over and over again is frustrating. <laughs> yes. Um, I just want new movies, says Nat. <laughs> um, CB says the Eddie Murphy do little movies were pretty terrible too. Um, Nat says I miss the feeling of seeing something that you've never seen before and knowing nothing about it. Movies have lost the concept of discovery. I, I would agree in large part with this about Hollywood, um, which is one of the reasons I think that things like K-dramas and J-dramas are popping up and even the Bollywood, because those are stories that have not been done to death with Hollywood. And so I think... Um, Plus with the technology and like DVDs and, and streaming and whatnot, it's easier to to get our little fingers on things. <laughs> um, so I, I think that's, or maybe, maybe it's just like within the circle of people that I hang out with. Um, that's why we lean, we've been leaning so heavily into international films and um, series of things because it hasn't been like, redone and redone and redone and redone um in our brains at least i mean they could be repetitive in their home countries um <laughs> but it's new to us <laughs> so um yeah sometimes it's the source material rather than the movie itself true um cb says i haven't had that feeling of newness since you saw the butler in 2013. Mm. Devin says, I have not seen the Dr. Do little movies, but you have been to Dr. Do with two O's, uh, Roadside Cafe in Du Bois, Pennsylvania. You're guessing the cafe added an extra, Z <laughs> an extra O to avoid getting sued. Probably. Um, Laura, our <laughs> lighting expert um, <laughs> for the movies, says, yes, it gets tiring working on movies that are remakes. Um, I always get excited when it's a Guillermo del Toro movie or TV show because it's most likely to be original, like Ship of Water, The Strain, Crimson Peak, Nightmare Alley, Pen's Labyrinth, etc., etc. Plus, his color palettes are gorgeous. You've worked on three movies based on video games. Oh, while there was some cool monsters to work with, you prefer original stuff. There's more room for imagination and experimentation. Yes. Ness says, exactly. Um, but also, my writing is all over the place today. Ugh, so annoying. My prose is all wonky. <laughs> um, I think somewhere there needs to be a t-shirt that for writers that says my prose is all wonky. Um, so yeah, that's a good merch idea for you there. Um, Becca says, um, I filmed a video for my channel. Yay, now editing. Exactly. Editing. <laughs> The bane of the writer's existence unless you write like editing in which case yay um cb got 100 words nice fun when it's like right on the dot elizabeth says blur got one more written one more and lesson planning and then you're done for the day but you're running out of steam gotcha i know that feeling very well 
Hannah, I got 450 words. Nice, but you got to get a wiggle on. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Julie says, I've been here sprinting in different streams, Stream Hoppers United, for over five hours, so I think it's time for a break so you don't burn out before you begin your sprints tonight. Gotcha. Um, and Julie, what time do your um, sprints start? Is it at 8? It's at 8 p.m. Eastern. Is that correct? 8 p.m. <laughs> New Eastern. <laughs> Um, if I have that, I think I have that right in my brain. Um, thank you for hosting. You're welcome. Megan says, I helped the boyfriend cook from the HelloFresh box. It was super delicious and really filling. And then you went back to brainstorming. Yes. 8 PM. Okay. So Julie, don't forget you have a place to go tonight for more sprints. Um, um, de -dum, de -dum. So the Eternals was absolutely awful. However, you really liked the Ghostbusters Afterlife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I'm not the only one who's been leaning on um, international films and things. <laughs> Good. Um, indie films are also often interesting story-wise. That is true. Yes. Um, Hannah says, totally agree. Love foreign language films for that reason. You feel like Japanese and Korean stuff essentially pushes the boundaries in a way is way more imaginative. I, there are so many things, although like there are certain tropes that are universal and I don't know if it's because, um, foreign film industries were influenced by Hollywood, but there are certain tropes and it may, it may just be the archetype that storytelling has. There are certain tropes and things that do appear no matter where you are, but yeah. Um, definitely love the foreign films. Um, CB says, I'm looking forward to the third Sherlock Holmes movie. Um, and this is the RDJ uh, Sherlock Holmes. Um, so it's, shoots a ferocious get a move on with that movie glare yes um whereas i i I'm like i en i enjoyed um robert downing jr's sherlock but benedict cumberbatch and martin freeman's sherlock um films the the tv series was fantastic loved it um so of the two i would prefer the cumberbatch sherlock just my preference. <laughs> um, so yes, sprints are at eight. Devin says Julie's stream for pages and pens is on today's playlist. Very useful. Yay. Um, I mean, we still have 20 minutes, um, but yes, it's midnight here. Oh no. <laughs> BA devoured your dinner. Excellent. Okay. Yay. All right. Um, we do still have about 20 minutes. Um, well, 15 probably. Let's see if, um, do you do, do, all righty. We will go back to the purple one. Do, 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 where is it? 15 minutes. Nope. The other way. There we go. Um, Morgan is going live. So you can join the Stream Poppers United. <laughs> um, and we will get one more sprint in. And using the purple flower timer. Try and get a little bit more in. Um, okay. All right. Let's do this. Yes, the BBC one. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. So 15 minutes. Save your document, take a sip of your water, cheers, or whatever you're hydrating with, no, no judgment, straighten your spine and roll your shoulders back. And for, make sure that if you need a break, take one. Here we go. 15 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go.
right. How was that? How was the last cool down sprint? Um, and I got another couple of scenes. Um, done with this this sort of quick edit um so i've made a fantastic amount of progress looking for these two particular pieces in my scenes so i'm pleased with that um i'll have to go back and calculate just like how many scenes i went through and such um so i don't have like a particular word count or page count just <laughs> um I'm just trying to, to take it by scene and um, just like do for like particular things and not get distracted by other edits that I could do or will do later. I'm just trying to focus on these, these two things <laughs> as I'm going through the scene. Um, so yeah, but it's working for now, <laughs> you know, any, any time that it is, it is doing well i'm like all right cool <laughs> um <laughs> i will take what progress i can get um let's see uh persephone says i can honestly say i enjoy it both recent sherlock interpretations um there was like a yeah there was a, re a period of time where you had the rdj movies you had um sherlock the bbc version and then there was also um an american version um elementary i think was the title of it where watson was a female um so i think there's a period of time where there were like three sherlock things on at once um so yeah lots it comes in waves it really does it comes in waves and i'm i'm convinced it's because like somebody's like, well, I can do it better than he can. <laughs> and so like somewhere in the back of like the producers or the directors or whatever, I can do it better than they can. Um, <laughs> and so they immediately start to uh, have that rivalry going. Um, CB says, I prefer a game of shadows to the first one. Gotcha. Uh, Persephone is partial to the BBC one. Uh, this is where we're hydrating. Um, you're going to come across as Blanche Devereaux here, but you are now ironically, ironically or unironically, rather partial to Jardy J. Um, Persephone had some water. Good. Uh, Megan wanted to know if Maggie was feeling better. Um, Devin said, Tracy is streaming right now. I think Morgan should be as well. Um, Maggie says, no, you're not, but you have things to do and things plus the things but all you want is a nap. Yes. And I, I echo Megan and I say, sorry to hear that. Hope you start feeling better soon. Yes. Persephone also hopes you feel better soon. Um, I'll be fine. She said like a liar. <laughs> and yeah. Anytime, but any, seriously, anytime I see somebody say, or hear somebody say, oh, it's fine or I'm fine. All I can think of is that meme where the dog is like in the midst of hellfire and thinking, this is fine. <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of that when, when somebody says I'll be fine or this is fine. Um, Persephone says, just read that this week is national procrastination week. Oh, well, so maybe later. <laughs> exactly. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah. Um, Elizabeth says, got the one written and now to slap a lesson plan together and then collapse into bed. Yes. And also remember not to push yourself too hard because you are still, um, you are still recovering from Panini. So Megan says, I decided to start going through the list of things you need to name and start naming them. So far you have named nothing. Um, but then you were just suggested your last name and name generator. <laughs> uh, see, we got 58 words. Excellent. Maggie says, I loved elementary because it addressed Sherlock's addiction issues. Yes. Yeah, that was a little different from some of the other Sherlock iterations. Um, Hannah got 131 words and time for dinner. Yay. Um, CB says, I still want to see RDJ play a villain though. Hmm. He would make a great evil mastermind. Um, B.A. says, did some research on the Salem witch trials since that's where your new project begins at. Nice. 
very ironically, because at one point in your life, you couldn't stand him. There were a lot of people that couldn't stand him at one point because he was not doing very well for himself. Um, let's see. Mecca says, but that doggo has his morning, has his coffee mug. So everything is fine. <laughs> um, yes, but we cannot see what level of coffee really is in there. So maybe it's not fine yet. Um, the dog in the room on fire. Yes. For three years running. Yes. Yeah. Um, now it says, I was going to say something about procrastination, but I'll do it tomorrow. There you go. That's the spirit. Um, sweet dreams, Elizabeth. And Maggie hopes you feel better as well. Yes. Coffee makes it all better. Um, National Procrastination Week and Spring Break are the same week here, which is appropriate. Yes. Yay, witchy stuff. <laughs> Persephone says to be a best guard. Yes. Um, yes. It has been your mantra to not self-flog, aka push yourself and feel bad when you cannot do as much as you planned. Yes. And, like, it was when I was out sick for a week and a half, two weeks, um, I, like, it took me until December to feel caught up with teaching stuff because it takes you that long while you are still teaching. <laughs> um, so don't push yourself, seriously. <laughs> make sure you take time for self-care. So yes. All right, y'all. Um, I do still need to set up um, next week's streams so that Devin won't be mad at me. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I need to do that still. And um, yeah, so I will be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and Saturday, not Saturday. Um, Saturday is the worldwide write-a-thon um saturday and sunday i think rain yes um so yeah next weekend is worldwide write-a-thon um as well as the equinox um we have a full moon coming up on is it friday i think it's friday um so lots of things um, <laughs> yeah, fear the naughty list. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so yes. So don't forget that, um, North America has done the time change thing. If you have not changed all of your clocks, remember to do at least your major clocks. <laughs> um, and we will see y'all in the chat and, um, yeah, have fun. Uh, don't forget to save. Save your work. Save it. Bye, bye, y'all. <laughs>